For today, we'll be talking about bubble sort. What is sorting? Sorting is simply the arranging of the elements of a data structure, like an array, in a predetermined sequence. That means it can be from lowest to highest, from highest to lowest, or maybe in alphabetical order. Bubble sort is a simple sorting algorithm that compares the adjacent elements and swaps the elements if they are not in their proper positions. This is done repeatedly until no more swapping of elements is done. So it is one of the simplest sorting algorithms. Here is now the algorithm. So we have a flag, swap is equal to one. Then while swap is equal to one, that means while there is swapping, we'll be repeating everything inside. That is from steps three to 11. And then we reset swap to zero. And then here we have a counter i called zero. So repeat while i is lesser than n minus one. Maybe this is the number of elements. Then we compare the two adjacent elements. And then if they are not in the proper position, we swap the elements. And then since swapping is done, we switch back our flag to one. Then go to the next element. So we repeat until the last element or until the last comparison or the second to the last element. Every time that a swapping is done, this loop will still be repeated until the time that there will be no swapping done and swap will not be equal to one anymore. So let us now examine the code. So here, we have here the declaration of the array. Here are the elements, we have five elements. And here, represents the number of elements. That's why integer n is equal to five. And i here now is a loop counter. So it may start with zero. t here is our temporary variable to be used for swapping. And then we have here the swap flag. Flag zero indicates that no swapping was done. And one indicates that swapping took place. The default value should be one so that the control will enter the loop. So next after this, let's try to examine the contents of the variables. So here is the array, the LA array. So these are the elements and these are the indices. So we have here n, the number of elements. We have five, i is zero, swap is one, and t is equal to zero. So these are the contents of the variables or the memory after the declaration. So we have here now our bubble sort while swap is equal to one so before comparing the elements we reset flag to zero and then loop to compare adjacent elements from zero to the second to the last element so we have here four i equals zero until i is lesser than n minus one so that means second up to the second to the last element and then every time we loop we add one to i the next code now, compare if they are not in the correct position. Since uh, we are sorting from lowest to highest, the upper position or the one with lower index should be lower than the one or the value of the next element. Here we compare if it is not that case, element with lower index is higher than the next element, then that means they don't have the correct position. So what we're going to do is to swap their positions. What we're going to do is to place one element in a temporary variable and then replace that element. So the element that we place on the temporary variable, replace that with the element or with the value of the other element. And then after that, we now place the temporary variable to the other element so this will actually swap or change exchange the values of la indexed by i and la indexed by i plus one so since swapping was done we're going to place here swap is equal to one and then this will be repeated until the second to the last element so if swapping was still done then all of this will be repeated until the time 
that swap will no longer be equal to 1. So let's try to examine. So first here, while swap is equal to 1, and then after that, swap is equal to 0. That's why we place it swap is equal to 0. And then we have our loop for i equals 0, i is lesser than n minus 1. So that means from 0 to the second to the last element, and then increment by i. Take note, swap starts with the value 0. Let's start to examine the next codes. It says here, we compare LAI if it is greater than LAI plus 1. So i is 0, that is index 0, and then i plus 1 is 1. So we are comparing these two values. We're going to compare if this value is higher than this, which is actually yes. Let's take a look at the next code. So since it is yes, we're going to swap LAI, that is this value, because i is 0, 5 will be placed inside t. That's why you notice here t is now equal to 5. And then the next line, this one, LAI plus 1. So i is 0, so i plus 1 is 1. So by referring to this element, will be placed inside LAI. So 3 will be placed here. So both of these are now equal to 3. And then on the next line, the value of t will be placed inside LAI plus 1 or our linear array i plus 1. So that is this index. So, so 5 here will be placed into this variable. So you notice we have now swapped the places or the elements of the two indices. So since we have swapped their values, swap will now be equal to 1. And then after that, we increase the value of i. So in this loop, so i now becomes 1. And then the two adjusted values now are 1 and 2. So again, they are not in their proper position. So what are we going to do? We're going to swap their places. Then... In the next iteration, i now is equal to 2. So we're going to compare these two elements. So you notice 2 and 5 were swapped in the previous iteration. So we are now comparing 5 and 1. Again, they are not in the proper position. So we're going to swap their elements. And then on the last iteration, we compare 5 and 4. So we are now on i equal to 3. So i is 3 and this one is i plus 1. So we compare 5 and 4, then again, they're not in the proper position, so we actually swap their places. So after the first pass, this will be the value of the array. So you have 3, 2, 1, 4, and 5. And since swapping was done, swap is equal to 1. That means the array is not yet sorted. So let's try to review the first pass. So in the first pass, when i was 0, we compared i0 or i equal or index 0 and i plus 1. So we compared 5 and 3. So since they are not in the proper position, we swap their places. So the result becomes 3, 5, 2, 1, 4. And then when i on the next iteration, i is equal to 1. Again, 5 and 2 here is not in the proper are not in the proper position. So we swap their places and it becomes like this. Then i equal i equal to two in this iteration. Again, not in the proper places. So we swap. The result will be like this. I equal to three again not in the proper position. So we swap. So the result after the first pass is three, two, one, four, five. So we, we swap at i equals 0, i equals 1, i equals 2, and i equals 3. So this will be repeated until the time that no swapping will be done in our algorithm. So after the first loop, if you're going back here, you notice swap will be again equal to 0. 
and then our loop i will again start from zero then the uh, the same process will be repeated so on the next pass so let's try to see on the next pass we compare again the first two elements are they in their proper sequence again no so we swap so two and three will be swapped i is equal to one we now compare three and one are they in their proper position again no so we swap then i is equal to two so i is this value so the two adjacent elements are these so three and four are they in their proper sequence yes i equals three three and four are they they're in proper sequence yes so the result will be this one the result after the second pass will be two one three four five so let's try to look at the next pass so swapping was still done so that means our array is not yet sorted on the next pass so two and one we compare again they are not in their proper sequence so we swap two and three they are in their proper sequence so no swapping will be done three and four they are there they are in their proper sequence so no sorting will be done four and five they will be in their proper sequence so no sorting will be done but on the second pass there was sorting when i or there was swapping rather when i was equal to zero so that means our uh will still be having one more or maybe one more loop because as you can see the array is already sorted so on the next pass we compare these two values again no swapping will be done compare when i is equal to one no swapping when i is equal to two no swapping i is equal to three no swapping then that means that the array is already sorted and that is actually the bubble sort algorithm.